Subscribe. Hello. This is a message for Microsoft, specifically Xbox. If Phil Spencer or anyone from the Xbox team is watching this, first and foremost, I would like to both thank and congratulate you for what you've done with the Xbox brand over the last several years. The amount you've all done to improve the brand and make the Xbox ecosystem a great place to play games is admirable. You've made an effort to provide backwards compatibility across all your systems, and as a result, you've done much for both game preservation and simple customer satisfaction at a time when your competition consistently pushes back against the notion of supporting legacy content. You've purchased many studios and put them straight to work on a wealth of exclusive games, directly addressing the biggest issue you once faced. But you've also continued to support PC because you realize that flexibility and customer choice are important. Important. And of course, you've created Game Pass, a service with immense value, as well as some really terrific next-gen systems. You've shown that you're willing to examine what your fans really want in an industry that is rife with stubbornness, and I really admire that. Truly, congratulations on all your recent successes. With all that said, there is a reason I am here before you today. I know that I have no real authority in the world of video games, I may have a platform for voicing my opinions, but at the end of the day, I'm really just one guy. Well, for whatever it's worth, this one guy has a request. Microsoft, I implore you, from the bottom of my heart, please, please, put Viva Pinata on Switch. Yes, Viva Piñata, that weird game where you raise piñatas and you can bash them open and take their candy. <laughs> That's the one. See, I loved my Xbox 360 to pieces and had some of my all-time favorite gaming experiences on it. Rocking out with plastic instruments, living a second life through incredible narratives, diving headfirst into the burgeoning world of indie gaming. But there was only one game on my Xbox that, for a time, was an obsession. And that game was the first Viva Piñata. My housemate and I both got into it and only had the one Xbox, so there was a period of weeks where our entire existence was dedicated to playing it. We took turns, and whenever one of us wasn't playing, we were watching the other play. At any given time, we were either playing, watching, sleeping, or at work. Nothing else. And it was glorious. Viva Piñata is one of those games where if it hooks you, it hooks you and does not let go. The basic premise is so simple yet so engaging. You've got a garden, you fix it up and make it look nice, and doing so attracts wild piñatas. If you meet all the right requirements, they might make your garden their permanent home. From there, you can get them to breed and turn your garden into a flourishing haven for your piñata friends. For such a laid-back sim kind of game, it's surprisingly thrilling. Unlocking new plants and waiting to see what new species they attract, watching those newcomers come and snoop around your garden, holding your breath and crossing all your fingers that they'll eat the right thing and decide to stay, getting even more new species through breeding, trying to stop your residents from eating each other, fending off nefarious NPCs, and then... The icing on the cake. The piñatas are adorable. <laughs> and their little babies are adorable. And that just holds up the whole experience and drives you to want to get them all and make them happy. Viva Piñata is that kind of pure feedback loop addiction I always fear, yet also crave. It breeds nothing but obsession in people like me. Now, I think it goes without saying that any Viva Piñata related request also comes with an unspoken request to make a new game in the series. The original game got a sequel, a DS version, a party game spin-off, and even an animated show. But I suppose after the series failed to explode into a big franchise, it was quietly filed away. As long as it stuck decently close to the formula and expanded the scope without leaning too heavily on the whole social live service model, I would love a brand new Viva Piñata game. Will there ever be one? I have no idea. It's been long enough that I feel it's a series worth exploring again, especially if PlayStation is willing to push a game like Bug Snacks. The gaming landscape is always shifting, and you never know how tastes might change after 10 or 15 years. But as far as that goes, I'll give you the advice I'm always giving Nintendo. If you're not sure about a new one, give us the old ones. If you're lucky, they'll sell well and you'll realize you've got an opportunity to bring the series back. 
At the worst, you make some people happy and make a little extra money from something that was just sitting around collecting dust. Now, I absolutely must give you folks at Microsoft credit for this one. Once again, flying in the face of your competition, you've already made both mainline Viva Pinata games available for a reasonable price on your digital storefront. Not only that, but you've also enhanced them to run at 4K resolution. You didn't let them just fall into obscurity, but you also didn't need to do a big $60 remaster with all the bells and whistles. You just let people buy some of your old games because why wouldn't you? And those games run better on your newer hardware because why wouldn't they? You're already doing an incredible job keeping Viva Pinata alive. But apart from new Xbox owners stumbling upon those old games, the series isn't really reaching new people. And that's where this little guy comes. Oh, I forgot to bring my Switch. Well, that's where the Switch comes in. Okay, I, I know my intentions here are pretty transparent. Is Arlo suggesting we put Viva Pinata on Switch because he actually thinks it's a good idea or because he wants it? It's true, this is something I really, really want. But let me at least try to convince you that it is indeed a good idea because I do genuinely think it's a good idea. It's obvious that you're not in any hurry to start putting every Xbox game ever on Switch, but in recent years, you've shown that a game can make its way over if it's a good fit. The most notable examples are the Ori games, which run great on Switch and successfully brought the series to a whole new audience. Then of course, Cuphead enjoyed a wider console release. And beyond just games, now we've got Banjo and Steve in Smash. You're not stubborn about your exclusives, and you recognize the importance of exposure. Well, if you ask me, Viva Pinata is a perfect candidate for this kind of open platform treatment, and for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it's a series that at one time you clearly wanted to turn into something big. And while it might just not have giant media franchise potential, I do believe it can turn into something decently successful. Especially considering these aren't massive AAA games with huge budgets or anything. Thing. And if there's any audience out there that will be receptive to a colorful life sim where you play around with a bunch of silly creatures, it's the Nintendo crowd. Just look at this. This is our bread and butter right here. If Viva Pinata had been on the Wii instead of the 360, it would have made all the sense in the world. The Switch would provide a massive new audience for the series, and you'd get a lot of eyes on it during the launch. Every time an Xbox game hits Switch, there are gonna be articles and such on it. Then you got the reviews and the YouTube videos and whatnot. I'd sure as heck cover it, <laughs> I can tell you that much. Then the games themselves should be easy enough to port over to Switch, considering they were on the 360. And of course, you've got the handheld factor. Viva Pinata is the sort of thing you can dip into for a short while without becoming invested in anything big, or you might want to have it running for long stretches while you attract new species. In either case, it's perfect for handheld play because you can keep it with you and have it on whenever you want, maybe even while you do other things. I mean, I don't even play handheld as much as I used to, but the idea of handheld Viva Pinata? <laughs> It'd be a dream come true. Well, I mean, that's what the DS version was, and I heard that one was actually pretty good, but that's kind of different, you know, I want the I want the big, the big cool 3D ones on the go. Now, as for which specific Viva Pinata game to bring to Switch, there are, of course, options. The first game would be appropriate in its own way, but the second game would be better, I think. I didn't get to play it, so naturally it's my choice. But more importantly, it includes some of the ideas the devs didn't get to use in the first game, making it more of a definitive version of Viva Pinata. So if you've got to pick one, go with that one. I certainly wouldn't be against a two-pack, however. I mean, you get the best of both worlds there, wouldn't you? Whatever the case, though, I hope that at least somebody on the Xbox team agrees that putting Viva Pinata on Switch would just make sense. It would be a way to earn some extra cash from an old IP, potentially grow that IP, and most importantly, make Arlo very happy. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth anything to you, but just in case it is, Arlo would be very happy very pleased. Even if the series is still on ice and we won't see a new entry for years to come, a nice Switch port would be the next best thing. If anyone from the Xbox team actually did watch this whole video, then I thank you for your time. And if you want to talk more about Viva Pinata in person, you know, throw some ideas around or something. I'm not far from Washington, just saying. <laughs> they, got, they got cheap flights out of my airport. As for anyone else intruding on this private conversation between me and Microsoft, have you played Viva Pinata? Would you like to have it on Switch? Do you just love the idea of bashing?
smashing an elephant right open with a shovel and taking the candy inside? If so, then let me know down in the comments. And let Microsoft know by tweeting the hashtag, hey, Microsoft, can we have Vive Pinata on Switch, please? That would be awesome. Thanks. Have a good one. Let's, let's get trending.